Built in 1895, the Baba House was previously owned by the Wee family for over 90 years. The house was initially built up to two stories, then in 1920, the Baba House alongside its neighbours underwent a renovation constructing the third floor. The house is being decorated and designed according to how important their religion is to them. Like for example, the walls or doors can mean something. The lamp at the front door is actually to worship the heavens and the house is also decorated with expensive Chinese mosaic called Tianyin. The house has a very small width and it's very narrow because in the 1920s, the Dutch used to tax people by judging how wide their houses are, which therefore makes these shop houses narrow and elongated. There were no toilets in the house until the renovation occurred in 1920, as people used to use night chambers as toilets in the late 1800s. The house is lavishly decorated with expensive marble furniture and gold sheet, and these features can only be seen in houses owned by very rich families. Altars are placed all over the house to worship the gods, and also to bring all sorts of goodwill to the family living in the house. Therefore, the use of interior space mainly favours the gods, and this shows how important their religion is to the family. I think that's really extraordinary and it seems like you've come to learn a great deal about the families and that sort of thing. It's very interesting to find out about who actually lived here and how all the pieces came together for the museum that it has been created. It's very important to preserve a part of our heritage and history to teach uh, the younger generation to educate them about uh, the lifestyle in the old days, uh, to keep a part of our past with us. Uh, if not, we will have no knowledge or no idea about all of these things. Uh, so I think uh, it is very, very important to continue our legacy and to preserve it. I don't know if these are the most appealing features, but I find the furniture and the historical relevance and the importance culturally that it was to the people that lived here was very interesting. As, um, more than I would have thought. Um, given the time. Furniture, where I come from, is just ornamental. It doesn't have any kind of cultural significance, which is, uh, it's interesting to find that in other cultures. I think some of the things that I really love about this house is the very high, um, the way the house has been built, because you can see that the ceiling is very high. So they would have thought about all these uh, details in the old days, and it's amazing that they kept in mind about uh, the conditions that they were living in so that they could make their life easier, meaning that the hot air rises and cool air comes down. And also things about uh, reminding their younger generation about uh, important things like being filial to their family, uh, to be good people, so they have got carvings of uh, different Chinese classics in various places to serve uh, them as reminders. So my visit to Baba House was interesting and I like how the exterior of the house is blue and how the windows and the decorations actually help complement the blue colour and how um, the interior, the use of space is actually based on the, the hierarchy of the religion, of their religion rather than the you rather than practicality so I feel that it's actually interesting in that way how they live in 1920s. Oh my heart it breaks every step that I take But I'm 